So, I got lost in the internet. I've got many things to chop vegetables, uh, food processors, any variation of knife you could imagine. But, I saw this thing. And I saw some sandwiches people were making with it. Uh, chopped Italian sub sandwiches. I figured we'd do that to see. Now you don't need one of these. I just, I buy dumb stuff off the internet all the time out of boredom. Uh, but knives, I've got all kinds of different knives. Uh, German steel, Japanese style blades. I've got these from the Ontario Knife Company. Now these are ugly as you can get once they get stained up. But they're high carbon and they hold an edge like no other. They're a great chef knife. I've got my little cleaver chopper. Love that thing. Uh, for heavier proteins, whole celery stalks, giant carrots. We got the big thick Serbian style chef knives. These plain steel ones, they all require care. That's why this one's stained up. Anything you get in a city, if you wash it, forget and throw it in your dish drainer. It's ugly from then on out. Or one of the best vegetable choppers that ever was, slash fish skinner animal processor, Ulu. It's an Eskimo design. These things are great too. But you can chop anything with those. So whatever you got to work, even if you just got a pocket knife, you know, it just takes a little extra time. So let's give this thing a ride and see what it does. But to start, I'm gonna take a bag of shredded lettuce. I'm guessing you can dump anything into these things. I've watched a thousand videos on it. They all look good. And got some red onion. Take it down again. I don't think it's going to be as fast as a knife, but it looks fun. That's pretty satisfying. I don't really know what you do with the tomato on this. Let's core it and see what happens. We'll go ahead and slice it real quick. Looks like it's doing a wonderful job. After I bought this one, I seen one that looked like an alligator, and I thought, damn, I'd love to have one that looks like an alligator. But, we're stuck with this one, it seems. All right. Now, and I seen him using thin sliced meat, so we're going to hit this with some thin sliced ham. I got smoked ham. Jacked it all up. It came with a little rake thing, but I ain't so sure where it's at right now at the moment. We'll hit it with some pepperoni. Maybe this will clear out all that ham I've got stuck in there. pieces of thin cut salami.
Yeah, I think that hand was just a little tough. It's clean mess now. Yes, keeping all that stuff up great. I do not think it's as fast as a good knife. So we'll hit it with some provolone cheese. Oh, we'll get it open. My hands feel like greasy and slippery. Sandwich without those. And it smells good. Them are good. We are going to hit this with some mayonnaise. I like dukes. You can use whatever you like, though. Hit it with about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Some red wine vinegar. I've never used this stuff. Probably don't need a whole lot of that, do we? And we're going to hit it with some creamy Italian dressing. Probably don't need a lot of salt, but we'll hit it with some pepper. Some mozzarella cheese would be good in that too. Yeah, I don't think that thing's as fast as a good sharp knife, but it's pretty fun. And if you get one, get the one that looks like an alligator. It looks a lot more badass. Toasted us some little sandwich rolls. And I don't think that I'm going to be able to keep from trying this one. 